Hello folks, welcome to another of our Taste Buds episode and today I'm making a brand new dish, never made it before, gonna try my, my hands and make fashion. I'm using my baby eggplant that I had today and I will be pairing it with some vegetables and I have some snapper fingers, yes, yes guys, these are pieces of snapper, that's how I bought them and uh, you know they just have them prepared like that and you just season them up and use them all you want you know boneless and everything and so i am going to be pairing that with my eggplant all right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just throw some seasoning on this and get to frying let's go now i have this food hack that i want to tell you guys about and it is these little sauce package that comes in your favorite ramen noodles I normally don't use them because they are salty so I don't cook I don't put them in my noodles however they are also very very flavorful and because the flavor is like a powder I just use them to flavor my fish see that so you get the salt and you get um, a little bit of the flavor that comes in it all right so you just add it to your fish like that you don't have to use the entire content because as i said before it is salty and then you want just stir your fish and blend in it and blend it in let's go and the next thing i'm gonna add is i'm gonna add some um this is my big joel and guys this is just for the color right it's like an egg color um you know it has a little bit of seasoning in it but it's mainly for the color why i'm adding it and guys you can use whatever you want to season your fish the whole idea behind this is to get it to a certain degree all right see that and i'm telling you it smells awesome because of the the uh pre-made seasoning from the ramen noodles and guys you have to be you know sort of creative when you're doing stuff sometimes you can't stick to the everyday average thing I mean, who would have thought that they would have made fish in this way? The next thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add some cornstarch. And the reason why I'm adding the cornstarch is to sort of reduce the amount of um, moisture and to also make it fry crispy. Alright, so I'm just going to dust it with some cornstarch, stir it around a little bit and we're going to get it done, yes? and once your fish has been dealt with this is how i'm gonna just leave this for now and the next thing i'm gonna do is get the pot heated and you know i might leave this for another 15 minutes and just allow it to marinate and then we move on so now i'm gonna start treating my taking care of my baby eggplant and making myself a sauce hey okay? let's see what we do And these were, these were in my refrigerator for about maybe a week now. So, you know, they've been there for a while. So that's why they look so dry. But when you buy your stuff, you want to use them up promptly, you know. So I never get to use them because I never ever remember setting them in the fri refrigerator. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to steam them. And the reason why I'm going to steam them is because when you fry these, they absorb a lot of oil. So you have to be careful. You know, I don't want the oil. I just want them to be nice. And uh, I don't want them to lose their consistency as well. So I'm just going to slice them in half, maybe a quarter each of them, you know, like so. Just quarter them down like so. 
yeah and just steam them down yeah yeah i'm gonna start steam them all right and now i'm just adding my fish they've been marinating for a little while and i'm just adding them to the pot remember when you add fish to the pot that the the skins are gonna curl so you know be aware of that the skins are gonna cause them to curl a little bit yeah and now just keep adding until it stops over there to the splatter and there you have it fingers are doing so well yeah man look how them look nice they almost look like shrimp don't it and we just gonna make these fry till them golden brown and crispy and then we're gonna take it to the next level with the eggplant Awesome, awesome, and guess what, guys? Let me show you something. Let me just have a steam this real quick in the microwave. Yeah, watch this. So now I want to now I want to make a, a quick sauce for my. Um, eggplant because I'm gonna be you know steaming them in the microwave and I have a steamer but I just you know it's it, it, it easier for the steam them in the microwave all right so may I use half of the the lime the other half of the lime I'm using some sesame seed oil about a teaspoon of sesame seed oil and I'm using some soya sauce and that's maybe about four tablespoons of soya sauce or a little bit more and I'm also using some fish sauce and if you can tell this is an Asian inspired dish already you know and I'm using just a little bit of the fish sauce because it's strong bad all right And then this now, I'm gonna be pouring or drizzling over my eggplants. And the reason why I said I'm steaming the eggplant is because I don't want them to go mushy. I don't like the eggplant when it's totally mushy, alright? So. And we're gonna pop this in in the microwave and then let's go
So now we have our ingredients together. I have over here some chopped garlic and ginger. I have some uh, onions that I chopped roughly and I have the scallion whites. I usually put the whites of the green onion with the onions. And I have the greens of the green onion and I have some tomato wedges here. I have a little bit of thyme and this is my eggplant that I just steamed in a little bit of soy uh, with fish sauce. And I have my uh, snapper bites right there or snapper fingers that has been deep fried. And we're going to just put everything together and make it a one pot meal. Yes, not even a one pot meal. We're just going to set this thing right. All right. This is what I'm calling it. My Asian style snapper fingers with eggplant. Hey, big things are going in a yardy belly kitchen. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is that I'm making some um, cornstarch. I'm just putting some cornstarch down. Then I'm going to add some cooking oil to my pots and that's about maybe two or three tablespoons of cooking oil and now I'm just dumping in my garlic and ginger all right and I'm, I have the heat on relatively medium yeah I'm medium I don't want this to burn so now I'm adding in my onion and you just want to get them these nice and feel good yeah you want these to start feeling good all right i'm gonna add my thyme yeah put a little piece of thyme and i just normally just Peel it off the, the thing. And I'm almost ready. Almost ready. Let's give this a chance to get a little bit more translucent. And from there we are good to go. As a matter of fact, I think I want to add some sugar to this right now. Let's see if I can find the sugar. Alright, I found the sugar. And I'm just going to add a teaspoon of sugar to this right now and see if I can get it caramelizing. Yeah. The sugar is to balance, you know, what's going on in our pot right now. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so my garlic is starting to turn brown. I don't want them to go much deeper than that so I'm gonna start to build it now and I'm just using a spoon to add my eggplant because I want that eggplant liquid that the eggplant was steamed in that's what's gonna be used to add my I'm gonna add my um, cornstarch to that and thicken it up and make the sauce oh it smells Smell good. Okay. And I'm just adding my tomato now. And I normally don't make my, my ingredients cook out too much. You know, I like when my ingredients are nice and, you know, firm. So, See how that looks? You can smell a little pungent smell from the eggplant, you know? With the soya sauce and thing. Looks so good, looks so nice. And the tomatoes are nice and plump and ripe. So the tomatoes won't stay that long before they start to get away. That's when you want to fix up your sauce. All right, so this is what I'm doing now. Watch this now. Come up point over here. I'm just taking my cornstarch slurry and adding it to my eggplant mixture and I'm adding everything. And you just want to stir because this is going to thicken up almost immediately. You just want to stir 
Okay. I'm gonna put some pepper in. And for my pepper, I normally keep some chilies. Yeah? Let's put some chilies in the fridge, in the freezer. Nice, 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 nice. All right, just watch it now. I don't want to get too thick, so thin him out a little bit more. And we're gonna adjust the, the seasoning. I'm gonna add some old bay, as you know. Don't have to use any any large amount of salt because we have the soy sauce. I'm gonna use some garlic powder and a little bit of black pepper. And the last but not least is my lemon pepper. And I'll put the, the amount in the description box. And you just stir them like such. Turn off your stove and then you're gonna add your snapper that you have drain in there it's a little way to change up the fish eating for a little bit and um, try a new stunt you know get it like such Oh, it look, Josh, it look good? Yes. And that is your final little dish. Your eggplant and your snapper. Good way to use up your vegetables. The next time you see this, it's going to be on a plate. All right. You have the belly TV, so the thing set. So there you have it guys, my snapper fingers with baby eggplants in an Asian sauce and the wifey made some uh, bok choy to go with it and uh, some nice basmati rice. Guys, I can't tell you how delicious this tastes and how it looks. It looks good, don't it? If it looks good, give us a thumbs up because we really appreciate it. And guys, remember to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend about Yardy Belly TV, yes, because we're here making good choices and good food to boot. Remember guys, that this one is my Asian style snapper fingers with baby eggplant and I promise you guys, yeah, mm -hmm. it look good, it look good, it look good. Babes, babes, your dinner ready. Come for your dinner, please. Thank you. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Tell a friend. Yard Belly TV is doing it. And remember, live and laugh, cook and eat.